Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're gonna be reviewing some new drugstore makeup. We were at Target yesterday. I saw CoverGirl came out with some new products. I picked up the CoverGirl Clean Invisible Setting Powder, and I also picked up the Clean Invisible Concealer. I picked up two shades because I figured maybe we can try to contour with one of them. So if you guys want to see what I think about all these products, then please keep watching. So I got these at Target, and each item was $6.25, and I feel like that's really cheap compared to what CVS normally is. CVS is normally so expensive. So $6.25 for both products, I feel like is a pretty good steal. So I got mine in the shade. The concealer got mine in 101 porcelain. Hopefully it's not too light. They didn't have anything else around that shade. And then to contour, I got 160 classic tan. And then the concealer, I got translucent light. And this is talc and fragrance free. I've really been trying to use um, setting powders that are talc free so it kind of avoids like little bumps under my eyes. So I was really excited to try this because I just love trying new setting powders that are talc free. So let's jump right into it. So the concealers say it is a lightweight creamy formula, provides light buildable coverage for a breathable skin like finish. Made with 100% natural organ pigment, the silky formula glides on easily and blends in seamlessly. It virtually disappears. So it's a light coverage, light but buildable coverage. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So we're gonna start with the concealer first. I'm gonna blend it out using my favorite Amazon sponge, which is what the spoolie looks like. It's really nice and small. I'm used to something a little bit bigger. Okay, so this is super light, but let's just see how it blends out. I'm just pushing it in to the skin. Oh wow. Very creamy blending it out. Even though it looked pretty light as it's blending out, it's like perfect. It just brightens up my eyes just enough. Very creamy. It is a light coverage, but again, they said it's buildable. So let's go ahead. I lost the concealer. Literally, I lost the concealer, guys. Oh, it's right here. Okay, so it is a light coverage, but it says it's buildable. So let's go ahead with another layer. I really like how creamy it is. And I like that you can put a lot of product and it's not looking cakey at all. But let's go in with the second layer and see how it looks. It really brightens up my eyes. And it's really not that much lighter. This is really opening my eyes nicely. Definitely buildable. I went in with a second layer. Let's go ahead and apply it on this side. I really like how buildable this concealer is. Okay, now before we set it, I want to take the classic tan shade and I want to go ahead and see how it looks contoured. Just to see. I'm going to put a small dot first. Oh no, we can't contour with this. It's not that dark. So we really can't contour with this. Let's go ahead and put our setting powder on. And open this up. But I will say, if I got a darker shade, it's very creamy. I feel like it would blend really nicely because that shade blended really nicely even though you can't really see it because it's not dark enough. But it's very, very creamy. I'm just going to use my Laura Mercier one. It kind of just pops. Oh, it comes with the powder puff itself. Perfect. We're going to use the one it came with. I'm going to go ahead and dump some powder in here. So this powder says it doesn't crease, doesn't cake, and no flashback. It is lightweight, breathable, talc-free, loose powder for soft, shine-free finish. This is translucent light, and it looks kind of dark, but we're going to try it anyways. And push under the eye. Okay, that definitely mattified my under eye. It is translucent. I feel like it has a slight color, but barely. It's like kind of my skin color. It actually looks really nice. Let's go ahead and apply it here. All right, this is what the powder looks like, and I am actually really impressed. It looks so good under my under eyes. There is no creasing. There is no cakiness. It really mattifies 
the area and even blurs out your pores. It really just like blurs out your pores as you're applying it. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face and I'll be right back with my final thoughts. Hey guys, I went ahead and finished the rest of my makeup. I just added a little bronzer, a little blush, added a little eyeliner to blend in my lashes more. Let's get into my final thoughts on the new CoverGirl Clean Invisible Concealer and Powder. I do like the concealer. Um, it looked really good when I blended it out. It is light coverage. It is buildable, but you're not going to get full coverage with this concealer. This is supposed to be like a clean, fresh concealer, something more every day, something that just gives you a little bit of coverage and brightening. Nothing like full coverage, um, which it's not claiming to be full coverage, so you can't really hate on it for not being full coverage because it's not claiming to be. Um, so it is saying it's light coverage, which I agree, it's very light coverage. If you are a full coverage girly, you're not gonna like this. Um, so I like how it blended. And then when I went in with the powder, I liked it. But as it's starting to sit in, I feel like I see shimmer. Like it looks a little iridescent, which is fine. It's just, I'm not really a fan of like shimmery powders. Um, I didn't really notice it before, but I feel like as it's setting, I kind of see it. I, don't know, I think I gotta go see it in sunlight, but right now it is currently 12.50 in the afternoon. I'm gonna be wearing my makeup all day, so I will come in later tonight to see how it holds up. As of right now, I like the concealer, I like the powder. I think it's doing everything that it claimed to be. It went on very creamy, very buildable, very light, but like it looks like fresh. And then the setting powder really did everything it was claiming to be. It's definitely lightweight, breathable. It gives like a soft, silky kind of finish, which it's claiming to be. So I really do like that. Um, so I will be back probably around 8 o'clock and we will touch in with my final thoughts. But as of right now, um, it looks pretty good. I will come in a little closer so you guys can see. Um, you can still see like my darkness under my eyes. Again, it is uh, light coverage, but you still kind of can see it. It mainly just like brightened up my under eyes, but I will see you guys later today. It is currently 11 o'clock at night and I was just about to go take my makeup off. And then I'm like, oh my God, I need to film a final review thought. So I'm gonna tell you guys what it looks like now. I need to hurry up because my camera's about to die. My scar is like dripping though. There's no creasing really. Um, it looks really bright under my eyes. I don't love the setting powder though. I do really like the concealer. I think the concealer is very light, very brightening, very creamy. It does exactly what it's gonna say and it lasts completely. Like I don't feel like it lifted at all. Um, I will say my under eyes is so soft though from the setting powder. Um, the reason I don't love the setting powder is just because I feel like there's, I don't know, like a little bit of an iridescent and then I just feel like it also latches on to my skin a little bit. Like it kind of looks like, like I have like little bumps under my eyes and I don't know, I just feel like you see it so much with this powder. Um, so I'm not really loving this powder that much to be honest. It's not terrible, I just don't think it's the best thing in the world. The best thing in the world is the Ilia Soft Focus Powder. That is the best powder, it's also talc free and it makes your under eyes just look so smooth and seamless. I've tried every single setting powder and I just feel like everything makes my face look cakey or it just looks really dry and that powder literally never does me wrong. It's the best powder in the entire world. I have a coupon so I need to stock up on it because I'm almost out of it. So that's my final thoughts on the new CoverGirl Clean Invisible Concealer and Powder. I like the concealer. Powder's not terrible. Like, it looks okay under the eyes. I just, you know, I compare it to my best powder ever and it just doesn't compare. But for $6.50, it's not terrible. Um, so if you are looking for something affordable, it's not terrible. But it's just not good. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like it's just not really good. But it's not terrible. Like, I didn't touch up my face and I really don't look oily. I still look pretty matte and, and seamless. I just really don't like how my under eyes looks. Like, they just don't look good right now. Like, you can see all the bumps under my eyes. So, I don't know. I just feel like the powder sticking to the bumps. Does that make sense? Again, everyone is always different. So if there's a product that I mentioned that I don't like, you may love. So definitely give it a try if you're interested. For $6.50, you can't beat it. I just compare it to my Ilia one and I just feel like there's no comparison. So I always want my under eyes to look the best it possibly can. So of course, I'm gonna use the one that works the best for me.